Hey, hey, it's your girl, Lady Dorsey, and this is RJ. Today, we're going to be putting together the X Hover One Buggy. His dad got him for helping him with some tasks around the house. So stick with us, and we're going to check out how to hook this buggy up to a hoverboard. Let's go. So this is what it is supposed to look like when we're done. It's an attachment for the hoverboard where you can sit down and ride your hoverboard. So we got this hoverboard down here and we're going to start taking out these parts. So it looks like there are about 10 to 15 parts and it says you need a wrench and some Allen wrenches. So hopefully that stuff comes in here or I'll have to go and get it. We got the seat. Go ahead and start taking the parts out. Let's see what we got. Make sure everything is here. Everything comes wrapped in this styrofoam. So it looks like the straps, the wrench, and the Allen wrench comes included. So excellent. There's some straps in there and the flag pole. Let's get the rest of this off of here. We gotta get this put together first, so hand mm -hmm. me the book, please. <coughs> hand me that book. Thank you. All right, so stop moving it. So step one, it says put the seat frame, the frame, left bar, right bar in position shown in the image. So they want you to go ahead and set it out the way it's supposed to look. So we can go ahead and set the frame up. So we got the frame set out. Step two, 
locate the two piece M840 screws and two piece M8 nuts and flag holder. So let's go to our parts. So we need two M840 screws and two piece M8 nuts. So the M840 are the longer screws. So these are the M8. The M840s. And we need the M8 nuts, which are the two larger ones. So we're going to get those attached. And we need the flag holder, which is this large L-shaped piece. So this is supposed to attach the left and right bars. So I'm going to get these screws here and we're going to attach the bars to the frame. Let's make sure we're putting them on correctly and how they're supposed to be facing. So these pieces are supposed to be facing the other frame. So I'm going to switch sides. over so the hover is red upwards and the brackets are on the top So you see this is slid in here and it is facing the other bars here and I'm going to put the screw and the bolts in. There is a hole here that it lines up through on each side and I'm going to screw that in. So I'll put this on and put the bolt on the bottom and screw it in. Here's the bolt. so you can see it. Get it on the other side. This 
flag holder needs to go somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. It says attach the left and right bars, positioning the flag holder on either side. And fasten the handlebars and flag holder with screws and nuts. So you can put this on either side. I'm just going to put it on here since I've already attached the other side. So I'll just set this right on here. Just pick a side it says and you can attach it. So I'm assuming you use the wrench that's provided. There's the wrench. So I'm gonna set the Allen key in here and the wrench on the bottom to hold it in place so I can tighten it up. So I'm going to do the same on the other side, set the Allen wrench in, put the wrench around the bolt to hold it in place, and start tightening. Alright, so this is where the seat's going to go. We have the handlebars on. We have attached that with the M40s. And here is the flagpole. It goes on top of the bar behind where the seat's going to go. So in our next step, let's get our directions. It says we need to insert the frame into the seat and adjust the footrest and the seat frame to your preferred length. So secure the frame with the two lockers. So right here we have the frame and the seat. I have two children so this will probably just be adjusted to each of them. Um, it says it's for children 15 and older, just for your information. But these are the lockers for you to put in here so you can adjust the seat to the length of the person riding it. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and do that. So the lock part goes on the outside. When you take it apart, I'm going to put one on each side, one of these plastic breakers on each side. So it has to connect. And inside you're just screwing that screw back together. Try to show you that. There's a screw right here that you're just putting back together. Hopefully you can see that. But I'm just going to screw that back in. Tighten that up. 
and that allows it to lock and unlock. I'm just going to turn that till it gets all the way tight. We're just going to do the other side. And one plastic piece on each side. I'm going to insert that screw. So to open that, to be able to adjust this bar, you loosen this and you can pull it in and out. Right, to lock it down, make sure it's in a locking position for the length that you want it. So we're just going to leave it like that and we'll adjust it as each child gets on it so on to step four so now we need to align the four screw holes and the seat frame secure the seat in place with four m16s and four piece m6 nuts so we'll go back over here those are the shorter screws and the smaller nuts and we'll use the smaller Allen wrench to secure the seat. So here are the smaller screws. And the smaller nuts. So I'm just going to put each of those screws in the seat. So we're going to, I'm going to turn this sideways so you can see how this aligns. There are four holes here. That are gonna align with the four holes on the seat. So the small screws again is gonna go inside the hole for you to align. It. So this is the First one in the back, pop it through the hole, there it is, the screw, the screw's right there. <coughs> You're going to attach the small bolt. So 
So that's the small but long Allen wrench. And I'm going to push this down in here so I can get it in that little slot. And put this bolt on. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And you can use the other smaller side to hold on to the bolt while you twist it in to tighten. But I'm going to do this to all four. And I'll be back to show you that it's all attached. So we have all four screws attached for the seat. Now the next step is to attach the buggy to the actual hover. So now we need to attach the buggy to the hoverboard and I've aligned it on each side and you're supposed to attach it with these straps. There are six straps so I'm going to look at the directions and see which each of these straps are for. There may just be some extras. So let's go to the directions and it says install your hoverboard is complete now to attach it carefully follow the steps shown your hoverboard should be assembled so secure the buggy to a step balancing with both adjustable straps, attach one end of the strap to the holes in the front. Wrap one set of adjustable straps under the balancing board and attach the ends on the back pedal mount. They should be centered under the B facing. Okay, so two different kind of straps. There's an A. There's an A and a B. Let's take a look at these straps and see if, if we can tell a difference. So they're all the same, but they say this is side A. So this is side A where you see most of the strap. And then this is side B where you see the plastic. All right, so the B side which is the most rubber side should be facing the ground and they say it should be centered under the hoverboard so i'm going to pull this under and these pieces go into the buggy and there's six of them so i don't know how many times you're supposed to do this or 
maybe they just come with several of them so you can, just in case they get worn, you can still have more to attach. So center this piece under the hoverboard and the Velcro. You attach. So this is under here. Each piece comes around and is able to be attached. And you do it to both sides. So plastic side down to the ground. You're going to open both of those up and center center this under the hoverboard this goes one goes in the back and one goes in the front So I've lifted it up so I can center it and you can see that and then you're just going to attach the Velcro down. Put the flag pole. Put the flag pole in. And there are three pieces. There's that. All right, so my son is sitting on it. This is how far he needs to be out. So we're going to tighten these up. Get up. So here are the locks. I'm just going to tighten this up. Lock it on. together we're going to take it outside and see if we can get it to work so let's go we've measured it for the little six-year-olds he's going to press the button and turn it on go on and we're gonna see if it works he's going Too fast. All right. Does it turn? How do you turn it? Does it only go? Oh, you have to move your hands. You just stop moving it, right? Okay. Might need to pull it in some. Is 
because it's still too long. Hey, boy, you can't be going in the street. You gotta learn how to drive this thing, huh? Get up. So it works, guys. We gotta learn how to drive it and use the different handles to go left and right and turn. But we put it together. We appreciate you hanging out with us to put together this hoverboard boogie. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, and please share the video. Peace. Learn how to turn. Uh oh, be careful. Yeah.